Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus and welcome to another episode, another tutorial. This time though, it's going to be a little bit different. Usually I have everything planned. I have whatever I need to uh, display to you guys. I already have it ready to go. I'm actually just going to wing it. So when I was going through ArtStation, I saw this beautiful art from, his name is Richard Wright, and it's a concept art that he created and I just really love it. Um, and I think it's simple enough that I think I'm just going to try to recreate this and hopefully well, as close as I can and hopefully you will be able to learn something out of it. So the way I analyze this scene is that there's some really simple mesh, uh, pretty good distance. So the fog is going to be involved and there's also these beautiful blue cranes, which I, uh, I'm going to download and then uh, under glowing, there's also water. So that's going to be a, its own challenge, a person which I probably will not add or just throw one of my characters and a little bit of uh, maybe smoke, but this is usually done in painting. So I think I, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to try this out. I'm going to see if it works, but the way I'm going to break it down is that I'm going to just model these basic things, maybe throw some basic shaders on it, and then I'm going to use particles to uh, emit this. So in a previous tutorial, we went over swarming. So I'm going to use something like that to, uh, to try to get a, this look again. I don't know how it's going to go. I'm going to be, uh, winging it just like I mentioned it. So, uh, but yes, that's, let's get started. So the first thing I did was try to find a free crane. I found this one. No, I don't really need textures on it because, um, you know, it's glowing. So I've got this crane downloaded already and it's from 2004, I think. The good news is it still works. The bad news is that I have to clean it up because it doesn't really apply with the, with the new Arnold stuff. So there might be some issues with it, but uh, I'm gonna leave the link below so you can download it yourself and please give credit. Okie dokies, Maya. I'm gonna, let's see, I already created a project scene. So I created a project scene called Cranes and then in my scenes, I've already kind of cleaned it up a little bit, but I wanted to show you how I did it. So this is the MB file and I'm just going to drag it in. You can always file open and I can already tell that there, this is an old file just because it shows up that there's mental ray nodes and it doesn't know what to do. So I'm going to click okay and I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to uh, organize it and clean it up. So joints. So that means this, puppy, this uh, bird, not a puppy, is uh, rigged. Let's turn off the joints. And I'm gonna also hide the IK handles because I'm not a big fan. And uh, I'm gonna go to my outliner here. It's already it's got some lights, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete those. And uh, okay, looks good so far. I'm gonna assign a new material and I'm gonna use an AI standard shader. And then because it's got all these mental ray nodes, I am going to do what I call throwing a grenade, which is called file optimizing size options. And note that uh, everything is checked off. So this is going to be pretty dramatic and it's going to optimize and then it's going to say that it's, you know, it's undoable. So I'm going to click OK. And then it's going to clean up the scene for me. At least the best as it can. It's cool because before, if you saw over here on the right, there was all these layers, and now you can see that there's none. It just cleans everything up for us, which is fantastic. If I take a look at the script editor, and uh, it'll tell you, look, I found 25 empty trans nodes that I got rid of, and I got did all 17 unknown nodes. I don't, you know, I just got rid of those two. And then here's uh, remove 261 unused render nodes, and also so I made deleted a bunch of stuff. So uh, it still works. So that's good. Don't forget to set your project. So file, set your project. I've already set it, but just in case, just 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 to show you the right way of doing things. File, save as. Okie dokie, saved. Cool. So the crane rig is, uh, I've seen better, but it will give us what we need. But first, let's render it. Let's go Arnold Lights Physical Sky, and then let's render. And I'm not a big fan of this either. So I'm going to go to show highlights. So it's just got, it still has a light. It's just that it doesn't show it in the preview. All right, there is our crane looking great. Nothing big. Let's go ahead and open up our attributes here and uh, ignore everything except for the AI standard. I'm going to turn this into kind of like a blue-ish color. And then over here under emission, I'm going to do the same. Maybe a slightly different blue. 
and then I'm going to increase my emission. So my emission weight is one, which is 100%, and then I render, and I already have, very quickly, I already have something that looks like this reference image. So it looks kind of like this. You can see a little shape, which is what I'm trying to achieve here. So notice that the blues are not exactly the same, which is purposely done. I do want to have some sort of definition. So the color, one color is a particular type of blue, and then there's another type of blue. So that helps us out a lot. Okay. Next, we need to animate this. Right. So I'm going to stop this and uh, the rig's a little bit complicated. So I'm going to give myself only about 25 frames to animate with. 24 to make our life easier. What I found about this crane model is that this particular one rotates the whole wing and then this one rotates the next one and then this one rotates the other which is great. And then this one just kind of rotates particular parts, which stretches and looks a little weird. So if you want to have more control over the wings, you're more than welcome to. But right now what I really want, and it's actually pretty cool that we can, we have access to these type of things, but I just want to, right now I just flap the wings. So I'm going to start in frame one. And it's kind of hard for me to see which one I'm supposed to pick. So I'm going to show you a trick. I rarely touch rigs when I, uh, mess around, but in this case, there's so many controls that look the same that I think it might be helpful if I just change the colors a little bit. So I'm going to control A and I'm looking at the shape. And if I go down to object display and then I go to drawing overrides, you'll notice that the drawing overrides already in, under index and it's already blue, which is great, except for the fact that my bird is blue. So it's kind of hard to see. So if I kind of drag this around, I can actually change the colors, which is really helpful because then I get to choose the particular type of color that I want. So if I want a green, for example, and I let go, you'll see that it's kind of like a dark green. If I wanted to choose pink, then I've got pink and pink might be a good color for me to choose because it's fast. Colors that you should not pick. I do not recommend you picking green because it looks like it's selected. And uh, I don't recommend white because white is also, if you click once, you click twice, it turns white. So it looks like it's selected. So pick a color that it's not, that, you know, it doesn't, you don't see it very often. And you rarely see pink. So I'm going to go for pink. There's other colors. You guys are more than welcome to choose whatever. But this works for me. Okay. So this will help me just kind of quickly grab these controllers. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to choose pink again. Usually you choose different colors for the left and the right, but um, I'm just going to stick to the same colors because they're going to do the same, kind of like the same thing. They're going to flap the same. Okay, there you go. Do you guys know you're going to learn a little rigging? There you go. Or at least kind of change colors. All right, so next we're going to rotate our objects. So I'm going to select these guys, one, two, and three. I have hold down shift for all three. Then I'm going to rotate them up. Doesn't do a very good job, so I'm just gonna make sure I get the nice little arc there. That might be a little high. All right, so it looks good. I'm gonna select these guys. Click S, which is gonna give me a, hopefully a keyframe. There it is. I'm gonna go all the way to 24 and do the same thing. I'm gonna go to 12 and I'm going to uh, go the other way. Now I'm breaking the wing, ouch. It's okay. I'm gonna do this. So that looks okay, I guess. Looks 90 degrees. Looks like it's broken. Let's move that up a little bit. All right, grab these guys too. S. There we go. All right, cool. So now I've got one flapping wing. Cool. So far, so good. So this is around this value. So theoretically, I should be able to um, rotate Z if I go over here, press enter, good, grab this one, 27, this one, 57, and then this one is negative 10, interesting that the values are negative now. All right, grab these guys. S, drag it over here to 24, S, go to 12, and then we're going to reverse it. Whee, same thing. Um, if you want to, you can copy these, 39, 39, just so they can be 
uh, the same. Now, you don't have to. You can always give it a little bit of that organic feel um, so that it's not the same because otherwise it looks like a machine. So if this is 39 and this one's, um, oh, the values are different, 39 and this one's 29. If you want to, you can bring it down lower or higher. But a little bit of uh, change is not a bad thing, a little bit of difference. Negative 36. Yeah, that's a little bit. There we go. So I hit S on all three of them. Um, you can select these again, make sure you hit S and there you go. We now have a flapping bird. Now it's looking uh, a little stiff, right? So animation 101, it looks like it's flapping its wings, but it's looking like a robot. So what we're going to do is called offsetting. I want the shoulders to start where they're at. It's uh, these guys that I want to overlap next. So usually what happens is the shoulder moves first, then the elbow, and then the hand if you're a human. In this case, it's shoulder, wing, wing. So I don't know. I don't know what these things are. I'm not a bird expert. I have no clue, actually. But um, we, we want to create what's called overlap. So I'm going to I'm going to skip the shoulders. I'm going to grab the I'm going to call this elbow because I don't know what else to call it. And then the hand. I don't know what to call it. Double click on the timeline. And then I'm just going to drag it to frames. Right, so I grab this little thing right here in the center and then I move it two frames and that's going to move the keyframes to frames. So this one is at one and the next one is at three and the last two, these guys, I'm going to double click and uh, move two frames as well. So these guys start the animation around five. Now I have already a tutorial on how to do that. It's very similar to a tail. Um, a, we go over the whole thing, we rig it, we put joints, we put controllers, and then we actually animate it. So if you want to see about overlapping animation and how things look a little bit more organic, you're more than welcome to watch that too. So I'm combining a, bun of, a bunch of my tutorials that we've done in the past and put it all together into this one. All right, so now we uh, did a little rigging. Uh, we did some overlapping animation and let's see what that looks like. So you can see that even though we've just changed the keyframes a little bit, it's looking a lot nicer. The animation looks like this is kind of catching up with the other and that's considered very, it's a, a lot more realistic. Let's just uh, kind of pose them in a way that uh, at least it looks a little bit like our reference image. So, and again, you don't want them to be perfect. Uh, anything that looks too perfect at the same, like looking exactly the same is not really uh, nature-like or um, you want to make sure that, you know, the everything's a little bit offset. It's just like um, we have different weights and we have different preferences and birds are the same thing. They all, they, uh, they land on one leg. They prefer one leg more than the other, you know. So it's all about making sure that we have, it's a, uh, it's a little bit more organic by making it a little bit offset. So you don't want them to be exactly the same. You can just have a little bit of offset and that's going to make it look organic. Um, all right. So now we got to at least get this to move up and down a little bit because it's so flat. Let's see what happens here. So up, let's see at 12, he probably needs to actually, let's go to one is staying at where he's at. So S there. 28 is S and around 12 will make him go up. So there you go. So now he's kind of moving around. That's kind of cool. I'm sure there's somebody out there freaking out, but uh, I'm not an animator. I never claimed I was. This is just this is just enough in, just enough to get me in trouble. Let's see. Can maybe we can animate this little head here. I'm clicking S S at default and then around 12. Maybe I'll just make him rise so maybe not enough maybe you need a little higher just does that look terrible there's a little twitch in the tail how funny i don't know how i did that is there an anime key in here there shouldn't be a key something's making it twitch oh it must be these knees i'm gonna bring them down let's see just bring those down a little bit. Let's see if that helped with the snapping. Okay, it did. All right, what do you guys think? Okay. Maybe move the legs a little bit. Ugh, I just can't seem to let anything go. Um, we'll just move the legs a little bit. So keyframe, keyframe, somewhere in the middle. We can just move them a little bit. It's just a tiny touch. And then maybe rotate them just a tiny bit. 
So it can be like this. I don't know. I don't know if this is helping. I think it might be making it worse. Does it look like he's hurt? You know what? I think I'm just gonna... Let's see. I think the reason why he looks hurt is because this one's going too far. So let me just rotate this back a little bit and move this like this. I'm sure there's claws and all sorts of stuff, but uh, I don't want to... Still weird little twitch there. How funny. I don't know what's causing it. Hopefully it's not too obvious. Yep, it's obvious. All right, let me see if I can figure out what that's coming from. So weird. Must be from the, I'm gonna guess it's from the, uh, let's see. Let's see if that stops it from twitching. All right, just a keyframe there seems to have stopped it. I could animate the tail too, but we're getting a little bit uh, off course here. Okay, cool. So that is a quick way to uh, get this started. So our little character here is now uh, flapping around. He's, uh, oops, let me just press play. So now he's going to, that's good enough, I think. I think it's going to fool people into thinking that it's uh, a crane. Okay, good. Okay, great. So uh, that's, uh, that's going to get us started. So the next thing I want to do is um, start creating these animations. So that's going to be in the next tutorial. So I'm going to leave you with this for now. We got the shader going and we did a little bit of animation. So the next part is going to be how to create the, the flocking birds. And uh, that's going to be in the next tutorial. So I'm going to leave you here uh, with a little tease. But uh, it's going to be really cool. So don't forget to uh, please subscribe to my channel. It encourages me to continue creating more tutorials for you guys. Don't forget to check a look at academicphoenixplus.com. That is my personal site where I have, uh, you can sign up for my newsletters and you get a bunch of free stuff like free downloads and free eBooks and all sorts of crazy stuff just for you. And uh, a lot of it's are free. So I try to be very generous about this stuff. Otherwise, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And don't forget to share. If you share my videos with others, that would be amazing. Especially if you're trying to get somebody to help them create some a really basic bird animation in this case. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next tutorial where we will, we're going to create a flock of birds using particles. I'll see you then.